puts the lotion on the skin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be collabing with my friend Brittany today for this video for our newborn infant postpartum must-haves. Um, she just delivered her little baby boy as well. I think he's about a week older than, no, he's more than a week older, like two or three weeks older than Russell. And she had a beautiful home birth, unmedicated, and that video is amazing. So I'm gonna link, link her channel below. She does awesome videos. She's a working mom, but she's home with baby until I think January. So, um, and her Instagram is really fun too. She does a lot of like food inspiration and like mom hacks. I've like ordered every single Starbucks drink she's ever ordered, I feel like, and they're delicious. So I'll link her stuff below. She's super fun and awesome. And make sure you go subscribe to her channel and give her a follow on Instagram. But today we're gonna be talking about newborn essentials. And as you may know, this is my third baby. So I'm a little experienced, but it's my third baby in under three years. So my experience doesn't like go over that much time. I've only been a mom for two and a half years. So I've learned a lot in that two and a half years though. So that's good. I'm about three weeks postpartum. Russell just turned three weeks on Friday. Today is Sunday. He's just growing too fast. Um, but I feel like things are starting to get a little normal with me postpartum wise, like recovery wise. I'm starting to feel like I don't have to be covered in a million pads when I leave the house. But you know, you gotta cover every area. First I'm gonna talk about the baby essentials, what we've been surviving with for these last three weeks. So I'm gonna kind of go in categories. So first maybe I'll talk about what Russell has been wearing, what our favorite things to put him in is. I love, 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 love using these gowns. This one, and I have a few others from Lulu & Co. They have these really sweet buttons on the top, and they're just knotted gowns, so they just knot on the bottom. And what I love about using these is they're so easy to change diapers in the middle of the night, especially. And they have um, little covered hands so that their hands can be covered without using mittens. They also have soft mittens, but I don't really like using the mittens because they fall off, and like I worry about him getting it in his mouth and stuff. So I like just the built-in little hand coverage and they're so super soft. I don't like putting like anything too rough on a fresh newborn skin. So these I love. Different colors too. Like I have a baby blue one and a tie-dye one. Um, yeah, I love it. And then also from Lulu & Co. These are my favorite, favorite swaddles. Well, I won't say favorite, favorite because I am going to show another comparable one. This is from Spearmint Baby or Spearmint Love Baby. I love these swaddles. These are my favorite. They're so stretchy and soft and you can really get like a good wrap around baby with them. And I just love how they feel. They're so buttery soft for a newborn on their delicate little skin. So those are my favorite swaddles for him. Well, I won't say swaddles. They're my favorite blankets for him. But what we've been swaddling him at night, we have three different swaddles that I love so much that have been helping him sleep. So the first one I'll show is this love to dream one. And Russell really likes to sleep with his arms up. He doesn't like being trapped and having his arms down. So that's what's good about this. Their arms just like tuck up. The hand goes right here. And he really likes this one. This is um, a small, it says seven to 13 pounds. He was 9'6 at birth and I would say he's just about out of this one. It's getting pretty snug on him. So just some size reference there. The next one um, that we love using is the Ollie Swaddle. This is um, from Violet. Actually, both of these swaddles we used with Violet too. And now we're using them again with Russell. What I love about this one is it just like comes easy peasy for you. Like you just Velcro it up and then it ties at the bottom so that the swaddle can't like ride up or ride down like it's just kind of stopped there because you tie it at the feet um and with this one we either do one arm out or both arms out so he just kind of wears it right here and then he'll sleep with his arms up like that and you can get this one nice and snug and it doesn't loosen because of the velcro so i love that about that one and then we just like alternate these like if one's getting washed or whatever we'll just use one of the other ones so they're all great swaddles in my opinion. 
This one from Amazing Baby, which is just Amazon's baby line. Um, if it'll focus in. It has cute little shapes on it. This one, um, the arms go up in this one as well, and the hands can be covered with the swaddle, so then they're kind of like a little pot holder again. I think one of my friends compared this, their baby, to a pot holder when in the swaddle, and I think it's pretty accurate. They look like a little pot holder. Um, what I really like about this one, they're all a little different, and so this one has a zipper in the front, but it unzips from the bottom so that when you do nighttime diaper changes, you don't have to pull the whole front zipper down. You can just get in there from the bottom. And so I really like that. Um, they're all great swaddles. It's been pretty chilly here, so it's nice to have an extra layer on them as well. So that's my favorite knotted gown, favorite swaddles, favorite blankets. And they're all so cute and soft and newborny, if that's a word. I'm gonna use it. Uh, okay, so moving on to the next category for baby. Um, our favorite pacifiers for him, the ones that he's been liking the most, are these Bibs pacifiers. Um, they come in all sorts of different colors. I just ordered like two more colors and we've really been liking these pacifiers. He likes them a lot. He can hold on to them really well. There's just like some gunk on it right here. I gotta sterilize this one or sanitize it. Um, and we got these from uh, Golden Baby Co. So I'll put their link down below. It's like, I wanna say $15 for two. And he really loves them. And I like how many color options there are. So that's awesome. So this is the sound machine we've been using. It's from Dream Egg. And I really, really love this sound machine. We've used a few different sound machines with the girls. Um, and this one is by far my favorite. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. I shared this on my Instagram as well. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like not a very harsh white noise and it can go pretty loud. That was it telling me that's as loud as it can go. Um, it has different sounds. times better with white noise playing so we have this on every night right in his bassinet and he sleeps so much better so his swaddle the white noise and then also to help with sleep we do have a docketa in his bassinet I'll probably only leave that in there his bassinet's right behind me I don't know if you can see it he sleeps right by our bed um I'll probably only have him in that for one more week and then try to transition out of it he does do longer stretches in the docketa I've noticed so that is nice and then we've also been using the owlet um, if you don't know what that is it's basically like a little sock that goes on his foot that monitors his breathing and all that stuff so if he goes more than 15 seconds I believe an alarm will sound we haven't had any false alarms or anything so that kind of gives me more peace of mind with letting him sleep in the dog tot or if I have to sleep with him on my chest for a little bit just because when we first brought him home he was not letting me put him down at all and I needed some sleep. So that gave me some more peace of mind, which if you've ever had a newborn, you know peace of mind is everything because you can just worry about so much. Um, and then I'm actually gonna pick the camera up and show you what he's been sleeping in. So this is where he's been sleeping, right next to our bed. I just have a little burp cloth down because the dock -tot gets stained easily by like the natural oils on his head. And then I keep the diapers here for middle of the night diaper changes or in my little caddy that I keep next to my bed, which I'm going to show you. Um, and I just change them right on the bed in the middle of the night just because that's convenient. But we do have this changing table here in our room along with some other essentials in here, blankets, hats, bibs, wipes. And I just usually keep a stack of diapers right here. We have a diaper genie that is very full right now and I need to take out but I do like using a diaper genie and yeah, that's our little, oh, all my clothes that need to be folded. That's our little changing station here. So we don't use this at night. I just change them right on the bed at night, but during the day it is nice to have this little station and when he's a little bit bigger, I'll move it to his room, but right now we just have it in our room. And then I do have like a few baby things downstairs that I wanna show you too. So 
let's go downstairs and look at what we use down there. Joshua's watching football, so you might hear some football in the background, but that's okay. This is the bassinet that we use for downstairs. I really, really like it. It's just part of the Uppa Baby stroller, but it ca you can buy the stand separately to prop it up. And what I like is that the girls can't reach him while he's in it. So he has all of his naps downstairs in this, and the girls can't bother him. And then I just keep the boppy down here, but you could use this for other types of storage. But I don't put much there because the girls will mess with it. But the boppy is nice to have to prop him up sometimes or to help Vera hold him. And this can come off of the stand easily and can attach to your stroller, which is really nice. Um, but I really like this one. But if you don't have the Uppa Baby stroller, then just like, and you have multiple kids, I recommend something for the baby to sleep in downstairs that, especially if the other kids are little, that they can't reach. We also have the Mama Roo down here, but we don't really use it because... As you can see, it's easily accessible for Violet to get him and suffocate him with love. I'm going to talk about baby essentials, but it's going to kind of lead into what I use postpartum as well. So I have this little caddy. It still has a tag on it. I just never took it off. I got it when Violet was born. And I really like having this because especially now that we live on um, two floor, we have two floors, like this is really nice to bring with me up and down the stairs, especially when Joshua goes back to work and I need things from our room that I don't wanna be constantly going in and out of our room because he'll be sleeping during the day. I just pack this up and this is what I have for baby stuff. Um, I keep a little burp rag in there. I love this little burp rag. Check me out. How mom do I look right now? Mom and so hard. And then, I keep an extra pacifier or two. He likes his little wubba nub. I keep this, especially in the early days when he was like still, he was spitting up quite a bit. I mean, it's still in the early days, but he's not spitting up as much as he was and it gets like stuck in his throat. That was, you know, suction it out. I keep an extra pair of socks in there. These little wipes that I got from the hospital, they're little um, hand sanitizer wipes. I keep these in here. That way if anyone visits, I can just be like, hey, Wipe your hands, you nasty person, before you hold my baby, okay? Um, lotion, in case his skin gets a little dry, or my skin, you know, puts the lotion on the skin. So then I have my little cubby with, and this has like dividers that you can Velcro in there, which is really nice. So you can choose to have the, these dividers in or not. I've got diapers. Lord knows we need all the diapers. All the breast pads. I don't know why I did that now to pick those up. Um, I like to use the Lansano, or however you say that brand, um, nursing pads. I've used cloth ones or reusable ones before, and unless you have a lot of those, like I leak a lot in the early days, and so unless you have a lot of those, I just can't um, keep them going through the laundry as quick as I need them because I soak through them so quickly. So I just use the disposable ones because I can just switch them out often, and that's what works for me. I keep a change of clothes for him in here. This is just a gown that I got on Amazon that's so sweet. It's not a knotted gown, but I still like it. That's why I have the socks because I like to have socks on him when I have a gown on him. Wipes, of course. Throwing things everywhere. I keep hair ties in here in case I need them. Little snackage in the side pockets because you know a nursing mama gets hungry. Shoot. I had some, um, nipple cream in here but now i'm not seeing it but i do typically keep nipple cream in here probably it's not in here probably because my nipples have been feeling better but the haka you guys if you are pregnant or have a newborn or are breastfeeding period get a haka get a haka i don't even know if i'm saying it right but get it haka 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 hookah um this you can choose to use with suction or not if you choose to use suction you just i don't do this but this is the way that they say to do it you kind of turtleneck it out and then fold it up on your boob and it will suction onto your nipple if you need to just like relieve a boob a little bit if you're engorged or whatever you can suction it on there i just give it a little squeeze and suction it on um but i try not to use the suction unless i do need to relieve my boob a little bit just because i like my supply to regulate out to just what baby needs and i do have quite a bit of oversupply in the beginning so while he's nursing on one side, I'll catch the letdown with 
this guy on the other side and I'll just hold it there. If I need to be hands free, I will suction it on. And you guys, I'm not kidding with how much milk I've gotten with this. Now I know everyone's supply is different, so you might get a little, you might get a lot, you might get nothing, but for me, this has been a great collector of milk and it also relieves the pressure of engorgement. Another thing that I discovered this pregnancy that I didn't use with my previous, or not pregnancy, but postpartum that I didn't use the past two times is this little shell guy. I have two of them, but the other one's in the dishwasher. This, if you're just around the house or whatever, instead of using nursing pads, just use this and it will collect the milk for you. There's a little hole in the top. Let's see, a little hole in the top that once it's collected the milk, you just dump it out into a bag and you're good to go. And this only holds about an ounce, so these do overflow for me pretty quickly. So if I were to get them again, I'd probably look for some that can hold a little bit more milk. But this silicone top just comes off so you can wash it easily and it's really great. At least for me, like random letdowns and just leaking milk, like the breast, the nursing pads are just constantly wet and it's just gross. And these are really nice to give your nipple like a little bit of air so that they're not as like covered in moisture all the time. Let, let your nipple breathe, free the nipple a little bit with these guys. Um, so I'm going to link these. I have my Amazon shop linked below and all of these things that I've talked about are in my Amazon shop that are available on Amazon, but I'll link everything else below. And I'm also going to find something that holds a little more milk. I also do keep um, a breast milk bag in here, storage bag from Lansano as well, so that right as soon as I have milk in the haka or this, sometimes they tend to overflow, so I'll just dump it in there right away. Then it doesn't get knocked over by the girls or whatever. So... For breastfeeding, postpartum, these are my number one must-haves, along with the nursing pads and everything. There's surprisingly, I mean, not much that you need for breastfeeding, but those are going to help you feel better. I haven't had to pump once at all with the, what you would call it, elect electric pump um, to relieve myself, which engorgement is a big thing with me because, like with Violet, I got mastitis and it's just not fun, it's uncomfortable. So this is a good way to relieve yourself easily and you can pack it in the diaper bag or whatever. Nursing bras. I have a few different nursing bras that I really like. Um, I just got them on Amazon and I got another pair from Target. I'm not going to show you my bras because I don't even know where they are right now. But I will link them below. Um, I don't really like anything underwire, especially early on because it's just very uncomfortable. Your breasts are very sore and it's just not fun. So I like something really soft and just easy. Clothing wise for me, I've been living in my Zella leggings and pretty much the sweatshirt. <laughs> um, but my Zella leggings really like pull everything in and I really like that postpartum because you just feel so loose and squishy and so that's really nice. So I'll link my Zella leggings in my Amazon shop. Um, I don't mind nursing in public. I just wear a tank top underneath. A shirt on top or a sweatshirt so that, that way I can pull the over top over and the tank top down and just use the shirt on top to kind of hide my breast a little bit um, because although I'm comfortable nursing in public I don't need to show off my whole booby that's just my preference but if you want to it's not showing off either like if you do what you're comfortable with but that's just an easy way for me to stay discreet and still nurse not that nursing in public is showing off your boob please I respect breastfeeding and normalizing it. Nobody drop in the comments thinking I'm a breastfeeding and public hater. But that's what I do, what works best for me. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about um, recovery wise is um, I shared on my Instagram about the Freedom Mom kit. I used everything in it so I don't have anything to show you right now, but I do have it linked below. It comes with um, pads that you just shake and they turn into ice packs and it has like the best cooling cream. This time was different for me because I did tear this time, whereas with the girls, I did not. So I had two stitches, which isn't much, but um, it definitely made a difference in how I felt. And so that kit was really helpful. The disposable underwear, although the hospital sends you with disposable underwear, and that's nice, the hospital pretty much, pretty much sends you with everything you need. The Freedom Mom kit is kind of extra, but um, the disposable underwear are really nice compared to the hospital and the pad is really nice to have, especially if you did tear. Um, but I did take this from the hospital, well, I didn't like steal it, they offered it. Um, 
and this is nice this is just like a mat for that they have on the hospital beds anyway i put this on our bed so that you know i leak a lot of breast milk in the beginning and there's just like liquid things everywhere and it's disgusting and you're bleeding and all these things so i just put this on our sheets so that i'm not washing the sheets a million times and diaper changes anything the baby squirts poop it's okay this will catch it this is easier to wash than sheets i'm pretty much done bleeding now but i did keep pads in here i also keep pads in our bathroom panty liners all the things and that's pretty much all of my essentials for postpartum the breastfeeding is the big thing and boob engorgement oh my goodness a baby carrier you have multiple children um i love my solly wrap my solly wrap and i have a boba wrap and a cuddle bug wild bird ring sling that's kind of overwhelming if you if i had to pick one i would probably pick a wrap i do like my solly baby wrap um super nice to have them close moby wraps are good too i just i just like to be able to wear them like that and that's the easiest for me to use if you need help knowing how to wrap it i'd love to do a video on that but that is also another baby essential slash postpartum that is really nice to have, especially if your baby is like Russell and doesn't really like being put down. It's essential. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got something beneficial from this video and I hope that you also check out Brittany's or if you're here from Brittany's channel, hey, thanks for checking it out. I hope that you like this and subscribe and make sure to check out all the things that I have linked below, including Brittany's channel. Thanks so much. Bye guys.